because you guys signed up to watch us, or at least a handful of people signed up a whole lot of emails. This is What's up, webheads? So, we as a channel have reached our first milestone. It's a very small milestone, we understand, compared to a million. Uh, 50 is not very much, but in a very short while, it's only been what, two, three weeks of actually attempting to try overly hard with this? It feels like half a week to me, but I guess it has been only two weeks, and that is pretty impressive. We are up to 50 subscribers, so we promised. And when we hit 50 subscribers, we would do something for you guys, for the fans. And so today, we are going to have the first episode. This is something we're going to keep doing over the course of time. We're going to have the first installment of Country Dude Eats Asian Food. Now, we're not talking about P.F. Chang's Americanized Asian food. We're talking about straight up for real Asian food. Uh, so we discussed, we went back and forth about what we were going to eat. We're going to eat 50, what are we eating 50 of, Anya? Chicken gizzards. Yum! Chicken gizzards. So, uh, Anya, do you know what part of a chicken the gizzard actually comes from? No, I don't worry about it. It just tastes good, so that's all I care about. Well, I know. <laughs> the gizzard is the little thing underneath of their neck that they keep rocks in, so that when they, uh, when they eat corn and real food, since they don't have teeth, they use the gizzard and it mashes up their food for them. Uh, so we are going to chew and eat the thing that a chicken uses to chew and eat. Yep. Seems a little ironic. Um, but we, we don't have any yet. So first we got to make them. So we're going to run downstairs to Webhead Kitchens and Anya's going to put them together. So here we go. All right, welcome everybody to Webhead Kitchens. Uh, so, repeat the thing that you said to me about why we're cleaning these. Uh, there's always like, they don't always do a great job cleaning the gizzards. And there's this weird yellow coating on them sometimes. Or you get some stray feathers and it's real nasty, so you gotta go through and wash them. It's pretty gross. Yeah. Because, you know, they're not already gross. They taste good, okay? Okay. We'll see about that. Alright, we got some in the pot already. Doing something. Turn the temperature up. These are supposed to be boiling. Hopefully we don't die now. So what are we putting on these? So we're doing, uh, it's a Asian, some Asian spices. And we're going to deep fry them. And then when they're almost ready to take out of the frying vat, we, or in your case, a Dutch oven, um, we're going to throw in some basil. I think it, I think, yeah, Thai basil. And then mm. bring them out, drain the oil, and then salt them, put the spices on them. It's really good. So you think we're going to be able to get down 50 of these? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Bear, are you helping us out? You want a chicken gizzard? Actually, dogs like them. Okay, whoever did this pack did a really terrible job. All right, well, we'll call, we'll call the people over at Purdue and let them know quality control not on point for the chicken gizzards. I'd imagine they don't get a lot of play out of the chicken gizzard department. They probably were like, ah, we did our three bags for the year. Send that one to Walmart. Some poor schmuck will buy this one. Okay, one more bag. Oh, good. Beautiful smell of... First batch has come out of the boil. I'm going to let it dry just a little bit, and then it goes into a big old pot of peanut oil. And hopefully we uh, will enjoy it after that. Mm, it's so good. Alright, so we appear to be getting pretty close to the end to finish these things up. We're going to run through the gamut here. Anya, very excited. 
web. Um, kind of excited. Bear, not at all excited. How you feeling about this, buddy? He, he, uh, he's not sure. Not excited. Fire in the hole! Alright, final product. Putting the seasoning on the second batch. I'm gonna be honest with you. They really don't, they don't smell half bad. So, take these back up to the studio. So if I die after one, you gotta eat 49. <laughs> All right. We do this for you, folks. Slow down, don't eat them all yet. You're just sitting there. I don't wait for you. She's not waiting. So as you can see, she can barely contain herself. Uh, she's already two or three of them in. Um, so, you've known me for a while now, and that I'm fairly adventurous and will eat anything. Um, the only thing that I've really ever had an issue with uh, was uh, was liver, it was beef liver. Like I chewed it, and then my brain said, okay, swallow it, and then my mouth wouldn't swallow it. So, you just, you're gonna taunt me with it before I eat these. Um, so I have, I've eaten chicken hearts in Brazil, I've eaten chicken livers before in a pate. Um, I've never had, never had gizzards. She's like three or four in. She was eating them downstairs. Um, so here we go. We got a crispy one here. Oh, and to, to wash it down, as you can see I'm stalling here. Uh, to wash it down, we have ye yeos. You want to say it? I don't know how to say it. We're going to go with yeos. This is yeos white gourd drink. Now, it's called don't go outside in Chinese. Yeah, don't go outside. So, um, it's called a white gourd drink. They have a white gourd on the front of the can. To me, it looks like a cucumber. So, what? What's the difference between a white gourd drink and cucumber drink? A white gourd's a white gourd, and a cucumber's a cucumber. All right. Well, at least we're educated about this. <sighs> All right, first one for me. Have you been counting? How many are you in? I was supposed to keep track. We'll, we'll add them up in editing. That's all right. All right, here we go. Cheers to you. It's not bad. Chewy. But not bad. Not bad at all. They're really inexpensive. I mean, they're, it's good. I'm going to try to... It's chewy. I'm going to try to get it down. It's a classic Taiwanese street food. It's good. It's crispy. I like the, the crispy on the outside. So, because we fried them, the outside is kind of taken on one of those like chicken skin mm -hmm. flavors. We're still working on the first one. So you pound them away. So, Anya, where did you get this recipe from? Two. My mom has been making these since I was little, and my plate I overdid a little. And fried them for a little too long, but you could never fry something too much. <laughs> Actually, I beg to differ. Okay. But I've been uh, growing up watching her make this and fry them until they're brown, and you can pull one out, a small one, and try it. And if that if the small one is a little bit too crispy, then give the large ones a few more minutes. Take some. Five spice powder, wu jiang fen, I think. I don't know how to read Chinese, but five spice powder, and this Chinese white pepper with salt, and just season to taste. Overall, I say these are these are really good. It's certainly a lot better than what I had thought when she first said gizzards. Um, I actually like this preparation better than the hearts that I had. Now granted, I was in Brazil, so, you know, it could have come from any grade of meat, but um, it was, the heart was really, really gamey. These are actually, these are pretty nice. Um, so we're going to speed things up here. We're going to run through this, uh, and, you know, we, we just want to say, uh, here we go. So thanks. Thanks for watching. Alright, Anya finished hers about 
ten minutes ago. I have two left to go in a pile of shrubbery here. Uh, as I've polished these last two off, I just want to say to everybody that's stuck through watching me chew up chicken parts, uh, truly from, from both of us, thank you so much for watching what we do. You, you may never watch again after watching us eat food on camera, but um, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I've got one to go now. Keep sharing these videos. Pass them all around. Tell your friends. Tell your family. For now, that's what's up. Hey, thanks for joining us for the show. Click on any of the links to watch another episode of What's Up Webheads, or click on the circle to subscribe and always know what's up.